everyone said, look, you're a great high school basketball player, but you're going to play, if you want to play at the Division One level, you're going to have to play baseball. And so then it was junior summer at AAU Nationals, the first time I had really played AAU because I played baseball all summer. It was there, um, you know, getting uh, lucky enough for one of the assistant coaches at Notre Dame to come watch me play and then having it explode to, you know, playing in a gym where Ben Howland, Bruce Pearl, Mike Bray, uh, you know, Billy Donovan are the biggest are there and they all want me to come to their school. So, uh, you know, Obviously, it built from there. And then now we're at the same spot, just on a bigger level. It's, uh, now you're playing in front of GMs, coaches, uh, meeting with Brad Stevens of the Celtics. Just your, the level has gone up, and it's, it just forces me and makes me want to rise to the occasion. I'm guessing you're, you want to go to what the best situation is for you. Uh, number one, have you been told where, where your range is right now? No, I'm just I'm, I'm hoping to get drafted. The, the biggest thing for me is, you know, uh, uh, to be able to, you know, be a 22-year-old uh, kid and, and be able to say I've been drafted in two professional sports and, uh, you know, I'm pursuing the NBA would be, you know, a dream come true. But at the same time, uh, I'm realistic enough where I know that's not where it stops. And in the second part of that, how big a Celtic kid were you? Uh, I was big. I mean, I, I always enjoyed the Celtics. Uh, you know, it's funny. I walked into a meeting today with the Celtics and Walter McCarty was standing here and he probably had no idea I knew who he was. But, you know, I grew up watching him and, uh, you know, I grew up watching the Celtics when they were bad, and I grew up watching them during the Big Three era. I mean, Coach Crotty worked for the Celtics. There's a lot of Celtics ties. Uh, but you're right. At the end of the day, you know, um, being in this business, uh, you know, hopefully I just get a shot with any team. I know you've talked kind of humorously about it, and you, you made the tweet about um, obviously all the metrics and stuff like that with the with the vertical. Is, is it is it kind of annoying sometimes that that's the perception, probably with a lot of white players, that oh my God, he can jump, or oh he can do this, and you know, does it get old for you after a while because you know what you're capable of? It doesn't necessarily get old. You know, it's kind of fun. You know, raising some eyebrows when yeah. all of a sudden you jump up and you get a tip dunk or you dunk on Jabari Parker, and everyone's like, where where did that come from? It's something that you know, my teammates, my friends, you know, uh, people uh, you know around the teams that I've played on know I can do. Um, you know, it wasn't necessarily something I had to do for school, so not many people know about it I was uh, you know I was able to I was willing to sacrifice you know making some of the highlight real plays to, to get to the Elite Eight to win an ACC championship winning has always been the most important thing to me and so uh, it makes it that much more fun when you come out here and, and everyone's like I had no idea you could jump I thought you could just shoot I thought you could just rebound things of that nature so um, as frustrating as it can be uh, at the same time it makes it that much you know more fun when everyone all of a sudden sees it and all of a sudden is taken back by it and it makes people's heads spin which teams have you, I know you probably said all of this yesterday and probably had more today, but which teams have you had a chance to sit down with? Uh, I've met with quite a few teams. I remember uh, I had to, I did a lot of my meetings in Portsmouth. I think okay. that's where people kind of all of a sudden were like, wait, why are you here? You should be playing baseball. And that's when you know, I walked into the gym to, to watch two games, you know, the night before I even was going to play. And a bunch of scouts came up to me and said, uh, we had no idea you were pursuing basketball. So that was kind of the beginning of trying to show everybody I wanted to play. And that's where I had most of my meetings. I had only three or four here, and I had about 12 to 15 there. Have you talked to the Knicks at all? Uh, uh, that's a great question. I don't know. I'd have to get back to you on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd have to get back to you on that. Pat, so does this mean that you are definitely pursuing basketball no matter what? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm pretty sure that, uh, you know, I'd be out trying to make millions of dollars if I wasn't going to pursue basketball and if I wasn't, you know, didn't have two feet into pursuing basketball. Um, you know, it's always been a dream of mine to play in the NBA. It's always been a dream of mine to succeed in the NBA. So, uh, you know, it starts here and it starts, uh, you know, with the hard work and the dedication off the floor. Just to excuse my ignorance, but does that mean you have to like give back your signing bonus, or how, how does that how does that work? Uh, so it kind of all depends. Basically, the contract I signed was from June to August. Um, the, the Baltimore Orioles have my baseball playing rights for six years, but I'm under no contractual thing to go back. Now they could ask for some of my signing bonus back, but there's some stipulations with that where I could potentially, if they asked for it, they could lose my rights for six years and I could become a free agent. There's a lot of random things that I don't even know fully about. Um, so it, it by no means doesn't mean I automatically have to give anything back and by no means does it mean that um, you know uh, I won't be uh, you know Baltimore Oriole at some point in time. But you know for right now it's uh, basketball full time. What what is it about the sport of basketball that is so much, is more appealing to you than, than, than pursuing baseball? Uh, you know, I, I've worked so hard at it. I think, uh, you know, um, 
not to, to you know, sound bad, but you know, I, I never really worked as hard at baseball. Um, basketball is always something that just the sport drew me to it, whether it was the athleticism you need or whether it was the uh, you know, fast-paced tempo of the game um, or whether it was you know, showing people that uh, I have athleticism. It's, it's all you know, been something that uh, since I was a kid, uh, I wanted to dunk. That was my main goal going through middle school and, high, and uh, you know, junior high. That was my main goal. And then it was my main goal to play at high school. And that was my main goal to play at Division One level in college. It was my main goal to win in college, and it was my main goal to you know be an NBA player and be successful at it. Thanks so much.